Okay, so in this little uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to answer a probability using proportions uh, type of question. So for example, a market research firm conducts telephone surveys with 40% historical response rate. What is the probability that in a new sample of 400 telephone numbers, at least 150 individuals will cooperate and respond to the questions? In other words, what's the probability that the sample proportion will at least be 0.375? calculate the probability to four decimal places. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to recognize that we're dealing with a proportion. So th this here is a proportion because it tells us 40% or 0.4 is our historical response rate. And, and, and other proportions could be uh, the, propor you know, the proportion of boys to girls. It could be 40% boys um, in the population. Okay. Or it could be 40% um, chance that your pickup line will work when you talk to a girl. Okay, so it's a sort of proportion of success versus you know um, something else. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So that's the first thing. Now they've given us our population proportion. So P is our population proportion, and they've given that, and they've told us that historically our probability of success is 0 0.4. Okay. Our probability of failure um, must be the opposite of that, 1, 1, 0 0.4, which gives us 0 0.6, okay? Now, before we can go ahead and use uh, and calculate probabilities, we need to assume this follows a, stand a normal distribution. And to do that, we have to make sure these conditions hold. NP must be bigger than 5, and N1 minus P must be bigger than 5. Now, in this example, we know NP is uh, 0 0.4, we know N1 minus P is 0 0.6, and N is our sample size, and we've got a sample of 400. So N is equal to 400, N is equal to 400, and you punch these in your calculator, and you'll realize that this condition holds. So we can go ahead and answer this using a standard normal probability distribution. Okay, the next thing I'll do is I'll probably draw the distribution. So let's draw the distribution. So now that we know that condition holds, we know it follows a standard normal distribution. We're told that the mean, um, we're told that the population mean is 0 0.4. Now, if we look back at the question, they want to know um, what's the probability that the sample proportion will at least be 0 0.375. So 0 0.375 is here somewhere, it's below the mean. Okay. And at least, so basically what we want is we want this area here. Okay. Now before we use our standard normal distribution tables, we have to um, standardize. Okay. And so to standardize using proportions, uh, it follows this formula. Okay. P hat. P hat is our, um, our sample mean. P is our population mean. And that's square root of P1 minus P N. Okay. So if we sub these numbers in, what do we get? So um, we want to know if we sampled at 400, you know, what's the probability that our sample mean will be uh, 0 0.375 minus 0 0.4. Okay. Divided by the square root of uh, 0 0.4, 1 minus 0 0.4. And our sample size is 400, that's n, okay? So we, we punch that in, you punch that into your calculator and you'll get negative 1.02. Okay, so now um, to calculate this actual probability, we have to use a standard normal distribution table. And the question is, where does 0 0.375 lie in that standard normal distribution table or the LZ table? Well, we've standardized and we know that it lies at zero and minus 1.02. What does this mean? This means that our normal distribution table, our standard normal distribution table looks like this, okay, it's symmetrical around zero, but we now know that that probability we're after on the standard normal distribution table, okay, that proportion we're after is negative 1.02, okay. and similarly, that area we're after is this here. Okay, so now we can use our standard Z table. So if we so we want negative 1.02. So what we do is we look up negative 1.0. So we're looking at this column. 
and 2. So we're looking at this column. So it's negative 1.02. And we get down here to this value here, 0 0.139, or 0 0.1539. However, this gives us a shaded region to the left of that Z score. Okay. So what does that mean? That means that we know that this number here is negative 1.5, one, uh, 0, sorry, 0 0.1539. Okay. So the green area, the area we're after, is 1 minus 0 0.1539. So basically what we know is that it's the area of this shaded region that we're after is 0 0.8461 uh, so we know that there's an 84 so what we know is that there's an 84.61 percent chance okay that at least 150 uh, respondents um, will sort of respond positively will cooperate okay that's about it so just to summarize like really quickly what we did here is that we have to check to make sure that we can draw a normal distribution table so NP is larger than 5 and uh, 1 minus P is larger than 5 then you just draw your normal distribution okay and then you shade the region that you're after now this is a normal distribution which is great but we can't use our Z tables our standard normal distribution tables because this isn't a standard normal distribution so we want to find this area for a standard normal distribution to do that, we need to convert this sample statistic here, this sample proportion, into a z-score. This will convert to zero, okay, in the um, standard normal distribution table. But we need to convert this using our z-score, and we find it to be negative 1.02. Once we have negative 1.02, we draw that in our standard normal distribution table. The mean is zero. We know that's now negative 1.02. Then we use our tables, and yada yada. Okay, I hope this helped.